Hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I wanna to give you just a short, quick little video about a hydraulic phenomenon called hydrostatic lock or hydraulic lock. And this is something that I've seen on several different types of devices. It's usually surgical tables. And what I can say is that it happens when a surgical table moves to the far end of its hydraulic range of motion and then it is pretty much just stopped. It can't go any further. The hydraulic ram is out as far as it can go, and now all it's doing is the pump is compressing the fluid into the system, and your hydraulic lines are a little bit flexible, so it will maintain hydraulic pressure when the pump shuts off. So what usually happens that I found is the hydraulic lock happens when the EVS crew come in and they raise the surgical table all the way up to the very top. I don't know why they do it, but they raise it all the way up and then it will never go back down. So how do you fix this? Well, there's really only one way to fix hydrostatic lock. And that is you go down to the hydraulic valve assembly and you wrap a rag around your valve block and you crack open some of the hoses. Now there's one caveat that I want to tell you guys about. It's very, very important. Hydraulic systems, it doesn't appear like it's doing very much, but when you crack open a hydraulic line, you're releasing pressure. And that pressure could be holding up a very heavy object like the table surface itself. So when you crack open a hydraulic line, I always crack it open with my, my head back. Because if you are right underneath the table and you crack open that line, it could potentially come down on your head. And that is a very heavy table. It could compress your spine, do some major damage. Also, watch your hands. When you crack open a hydraulic line, don't keep your hands up on some sort of uh, moving surface. All right, because you don't want to pinch your fingers. When you crack that line open, something will give. So make sure your hands, you know where they're at, make sure nobody around the table is gonna be where they can also get injured. When I have an observer, when I'm working on hydraulic systems, I make sure that they sit back away from the table about a foot, because when you crack open a line, if you get the wrong one, it could be the leg lift, it could be the back up and down, it could be the, the table height. You don't know which one it's gonna be, so keep your hands clear, keep your head out from under the table when you're breaking open the hydraulic lines, and all you're gonna do is release a little tiny bit of pressure. So for me, it's usually about, I don't know, a quarter turn of a wrench from tight, so just enough to have a little bit of fluid leak out around the connection. So you just loosen it up, a little bit of fluid will crack out and leak all around the valve block, then you tighten it back up. And then you go to the remote control or you go to the foot control and you see if it, whatever it is will start moving. If it doesn't start moving, crack open another line, a different one, or go back to the same line that you were just on and release a little bit more pressure. Now, I don't know which type of table it was that I normally see this on. So uh, you'll have to forgive me on that. I don't know if it's the 3080 series from uh, Steris or if it's the Skytron series, but one of them, it would always happen. Now, it's not supposed to happen if the range of motion sensor, whatever sensor that, that unit has, will tell it, hey, stop moving. But if the sensor's bad, you're gonna get hydrostatic lock. Like that particular table that I'm referencing it had a sensor that was bad that would detect when it was at its, its very top range of motion and then it's supposed to shut it off and tell it to stop, but it wouldn't. So the EVS crew would raise it all the way up and uh, then I'd crack the hydraulic hose apart, you know, lower the pressure just a little bit and then seal it back up and then now the table will move. But that is a Band-Aid fix, guys there is something else going on that caused that hydrostatic lock because everything that has hydraulics has some way of preventing hydrostatic lock. Now, they either have a range of motion sensor, which could be 
um, a Hall effect sensor like magnetic sensor or it could be a push button or it could be a uh, micro switch or I've also seen uh, the cable potentiometer so basically uh, it's a spooled up cable and as you pull it out it changes resistance because it's it's twisting a potentiometer I've seen the, all those in different types of equipment but the point being is there's always some sort of sensor that tells the system how to stop you know hey stop right here you're at your range so if you reach hydrostatic lock check the other things because there's something else going on too I promise you and like all band-aid fixes if you don't do it right the first time it will come back all right so that's all I got for you guys um, it's just a quick video on hydrostatic lock it's a phenomenon it does happen the, the table it just happened to me this last week it was a Steris 4085 and no functions whatsoever on the remote would work you couldn't even hear the solenoids clickety clacking because the hydraulic pressure was so great throughout the whole system that it was pinching down on the hydraulic valves and they weren't even able to move and that's why you didn't even hear the the solenoids clickety clacking because there's hydraulic pressure pushing down on the pistons and they were unable to move so that's all I have for you guys that's a quick little video hydrostatic lock it's a phenomenon that does happen and if you ever have a hydraulic assembly be safe about it whenever you touch a hydraulic line because when you loosen one of those up you never know what's gonna move and when it does you will not control it okay so be safe out there, and if you guys have any other questions, please leave them down below, and I'd be happy to try and answer them for you. Thanks for watching, guys.